it turns out that Steven Crowder is actually kind of a monster after all. Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Don't forget, every Thursday night with yours truly, 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show, where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Also, a like, a subscribe, a share, a comment, and of course, a donation would be the ultimate to support the channel. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Now, of course, this always happens. Almost to the minute of when I finish my live feed, something else comes up that's kind of explosive. Now, this one is something that we actually talked about this week, and I wanted to get it out as soon as possible, and so I'm going to make a quick video about it. However, there is a video that just came out. I was, I just happened to be perusing, and um, Carlin Boroshenko was live and said that she came up with or found an exclusive video showing Steven Crowder being abusive to his eight month pregnant wife. So I looked it up myself and it is real. I'm going to show it to you here now and then talk about it a little bit afterwards, but you won't believe this. I drew a boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary in abusive and cruel. You were not taking the car because if you refuse to do white food things, then I will go pick up the groceries. American groceries. I'd be happy. Steaks, wood pellets, my grill. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll Absolutely. go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect me? Yes, I do man. I do man. You see, love respect. Respect. No, no. How do you man? No, you're not taking love. Steven, You're not taking the car. Steven, you are not then taking I will ask them to pick me up. Would you like me to ask? Oh, that's right. It's not a threat, Steven. Get an Uber. Okay, Steven, I can't. You're feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me. Listen to me. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. See, I, I, do you understand the difference between my life being set to the second and you're going to be back when I'm back? Steven. The only way out of this is discipline and respect. It's the only way out of it, or we're at an impact. We are going to get past. Good. Because you can't have any discipline or respect. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, you give up so easily. I just said the only way out of this is discipline or respect. You said, then we're at an impact. Steven, no, we are at an impact. Okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your beast is sick. Your beast is sick. Watch it. Sick. Watch it. Fucking watch it. I'm gonna let go, I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. You need to just talk and baby for a little bit. Okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you. And the fact is, when I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D, you just be just about it, you go, no. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Hillary, you're right, right in the past. Become someone, as you may, day in and day out, worthy of a wife, worthy. No, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get text me what you need. I'll get you what you need. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not committed to do those things. Are you committed enough to do those things? That. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you and committed to that. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication the dogs take? No, you take that in.
Now this recording actually comes from a substack from a guy named Yashar Ali. And according to the article that goes along with this, they were fighting supposedly over the fact that the dog needed some kind of medication. And because Hillary was eight months pregnant, she didn't want to handle the medication and give the medication to the dogs because she thought it might affect the baby. I, you know, you, 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 you're very careful when you're pregnant. You don't eat certain things anymore. You can't eat certain things anymore. You don't want to harm the baby or yourself. Uh, you have to be healthy so that the baby is healthy as too. Um, you don't, you stop taking a lot of your medications, sometimes including your, uh, what they call crazy pills <laughs> or your mental health pills and things like that because again it might interfere with the baby i mean you know brand new life uh, most mothers want them to be as natural as possible without any uh you know any more man-made chemicals than necessary but at this stage in her pregnancy two things stand out to me first of all I remember when Stephen was going through this and how proud he was and so happy and all this other thing about having child, child, children, wanting to be involved in it and everything like that and bragging about how he's taking care of his wife and yada yada and how worried he was when uh, she got really sick, I think right afterwards or maybe during childbirth or whatever like that. And, and um, this particular thing claims that the family says that he wasn't there for the children's birth. I'd like to know where he was because I do know that they took that time off. Uh, it was a sudden thing. They they weren't broadcasting that day for at least another week after that or whatever. Uh, I know also I also know that this was right before his surgery. He had heart surgery of some kind or chest surgery of some kind for his heart. Um, there were a lot of things going on there. But the one thing that I noticed usually at this stage in pregnancy, the husband or whoever it is has the lady sitting down, legs up. You know serving her I mean it's not good it's not bad that she doesn't move around or anything like that I mean she can get some exercise and everything like that but do you think she should be manhandling a dog trying to give them some kind of medication that might actually affect uh, you know seep into her skin and affect her baby or affect her pregnancy um and why wasn't Crowder doing that but also too giving her all kinds of stress and telling her that you don't love her? Do you know how emotional women are when they go through that? When they had the, the hormones are raging and if I remember correctly she was pregnant with twins? So yeah, now this might just be, like I guess say, he looks like a monster in this aspect of it. He, he sounds like a monster in this aspect of it. There were some boundaries evidently it sounds kind of sort of like a narcissistic type of personality or whatever like that now this is only a three minute video we don't know what their entire life is like although this is another thing that they're professing in this article is that she's hidden his abuse for years and years and years um and he did blow up at her Just, you know and oh there wasn't any abuse or anything like that i noticed that was actually one of the things that he made sure to mention when he did talk about this divorce thing now again i don't usually like to get involved with these people uh with these people's um lives marriages because i wouldn't want anybody stepping in between me and my husband when we have our little tiffs or any of that other stuff of course um uh, we both would tell somebody else to just butt the fuck out of it <laughs> but this was a surprise and I'm not sure because I actually was I actually was not necessarily defending him but there's always three sides to the story his side her side and the truth and of course like I say you really and truly only see what he tells you on his shows um, everything else that you hear from like Dave Landau or any of the other people that have ever worked with him or anything like that are hearsay you know and of course that's their side of the story he hasn't really answered for any of these uh, accusations other than this um but you see something in his private life and you see that yeah his online persona and his his uh, uh skits and everything like he's an actor he is acting now he may have thought that he loved this woman but if he had this kind of control over her 
that's that to a narcissist is going to feel like love. And he says, you know, it was heartbreaking to him and everything like that. He's trying to be sensitive, but it sounds like uh, he can be quite misogynistic. And what is this wifely duties type of thing? Now, I understand that there are certain things and if that's what they agreed to in the marriage. But again, if he had all of this control over her and he was like this with her before they got married, you know damn well it just got worse throughout the time. And pregnancy was no excuse or, uh, you know, there was no way to let up on it even when the, the, she was pregnant. But you could see how distressed she was. The second thing that blew my mind was the fact that he was sitting there smoking a big turd-ass cigar and blowing it at her while he was talking to her. Now, granted, they were outside, but again, she's pregnant, and he's got this big-ass turd-ass uh, cigar uh, smoldering, and, and, and he's smoking it and blowing it around her while he's screaming at her about respect and discipline. So it only counts in her case. And the fact that she doesn't want to be wrestling your big ass dog trying to give him some kind of medication while she's eight months pregnant and should be sitting around with her legs up and drinking uh, ginger tea or something like that. Some stomach settling or something like that. You should be actually taking care of her if you care so much about those two children. So again, just a three minute video. We might have actually caught him at a very bad time. But the more I hear, and again, it's all on the internet, so you really, really don't know. You're not a part of it, but this was bad. That's all I can say. This was bad. It looked bad. It sounded bad. And I really do feel for Hillary and the children at this point. I'm just curious if this will be another exception to the rule as far as no publicity is bad. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how viral this video goes. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget, every Thursday night, yours truly, 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show, where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Also, please support the channel by giving us a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share, and a donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time. AMF.